Aishin SAT018 Transfer Case Shift Actuator. This is the step-by-step -step procedure for installing an Aishin SAT018 Transfer Case Shift Actuator. Before you begin, make sure the vehicle is in two-wheel drive mode. Start by draining the oil out of the transfer case. Once it's empty, remove the transfer case assembly. Next, remove the transfer case front differential output shaft flange by loosening the state section of the flange nut with a chisel and hammer. Hold the output shaft flange with the special tool created for that purpose while you remove the flange nut. Using the flange removal tool, pull the output shaft flange. If you haven't done it already, now is a good time to remove the transfer case drain and fill plugs. Next, Prepare to separate the transfer case housing halves by removing the 12 bolts and the four mounting brackets. Use a plastic or rubber hammer to break the seal between housing halves. The next step is to remove the front drive shift fork shaft. If you use a vise to hold parts of the assembly, be sure to place the aluminum plates between the part and vise. Use a 6mm hex wrench to remove the two shift detent ball spring plugs. Then, use a long narrow magnet to remove both shift detent ball compression springs and balls. Note, the magnet can be no wider than 9mm and at least 30mm long. Next, Use two equal length flathead screwdrivers and a hammer to remove the three transfer gear shift fork shaft snap rings. Position a cloth to keep the snap rings from flying away. Once you have the snap rings off, you can remove the bolt and transfer shift shaft stopper. To detach the transfer front drive shift fork shaft, remove the number two shift fork and high low clutch sleeve. As you do, be careful with the interlock pin mounted in the shift fork as it may fall. Use a magnet to remove the remaining interlock pin from the number one shift fork. Now, you can remove the old transfer shift actuator. Start with the three bolts that hold it in place. then back it out about 10 millimeters. Next, remove the transfer gear shift fork shaft snap ring using two equal length flat head screwdrivers and a hammer. Like before, use a piece of cloth to prevent the snap ring from flying off. As you finish removing the old transfer shift actuator, support the number one shift fork to prevent binding. To install the new Aishin part, reverse the process. Start by applying transfer case gear oil SAE75W to the O-ring of the new transfer shift actuator assembly. As you slide it in, remember to support the number one shift fork. Leave about 10 millimeters of space so you can use pliers or screwdriver and hammer to reinstall the transfer gear shift fork shaft snap ring on the rear side of the actuator shaft. Finish the installation by replacing the three mounting bolts by torquing them to 15 foot-pounds or 20 newton meters. To reassemble the number two shift fork and transfer front drive shift fork shaft, use the magnet to reinsert the interlock pin in the shift fork. Next, install the high-low clutch sleeve, the number two shift fork, 
and the transfer front drive shift fork shaft. Now, using the magnet, place the shift interlock pin into the number one shift fork. Put the transfer front drive shift fork shaft through the number two shift fork. Install the transfer shift shaft stopper bolt and torque it to 14 foot pounds or 19 newton meters. Using pliers or a screwdriver and hammer, install the remaining three of the transfer gear shift fork shaft snap rings. Next, clean the shift detent ball spring plug holes and reinstall both balls and springs. Replace both shift detent ball spring plugs and tighten them with a 6mm hex wrench. Before reassembling the rear transfer case housing, Clean the remaining sealant from both halves. Make sure to protect the inner components with a rag or other object. Then, apply transfer case gear SAE 75W oil to the inside diameter of the transfer input shaft internal bushing. The mating surfaces of the high-low clutch sleeve. the transfer low planetary gear assembly, and the transfer output shaft front needle bearing. Apply enough red Aishin sealant AB1281B or equivalent to the rear transfer case housing faces to ensure a seal width of 1.2 millimeters. Make sure the needle bearing halves are placed in the front of the transfer case rear output shaft. Quickly reassemble the two transfer case housing halves and the four mounting brackets with the original 12 bolts, torquing them to 21 foot pounds or 28 newton meters. Since the sealant dries quickly, make sure all the bolts have been torqued to spec within 10 minutes of application. To reinstall the front differential output shaft flange, first apply transfer case gear oil to the fitting portion of the output shaft flange and transfer driven sprocket. Next, use the flange holding tool to immobilize the flange and install a new flange nut, torquing it to 87 foot pounds or 118 newton meters. Then, stake the flange nut in place with a hammer and chisel. Be sure to use a new gasket before reinstalling the transfer case drain plug. Torque the plug to 27 foot pounds or 37 newton meters. Finally, reinstall the transfer case assembly in the vehicle and add transfer case gear oil until it's between 0 and 5 millimeters from the bottom lip of the fill plug hole. Using a new gasket again, Reinstall the fill plug and torque it to 27 foot-pounds or 37 newton meters like you did the drain plug. 
check for oil leaks and you're done. For more information, visit the ISIN Aftermarket website at www.isinaftermarket.com.